Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how to make a delicious picadillo con calabacitas and salsa verde. So if you want to learn how to make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so let's get started with our ingredients. So for the recipe, we're going to need one pound of ground beef, five chopped calabacitas, two chopped medium-sized potatoes, three roasted hash peppers, half of an onion, six small tomatillos, one Roma tomato, chile serranos or jalapeños, one garlic clove, a handful of cilantro, two and a half teaspoons of garlic salt, one teaspoon of ground cumin, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of black pepper, and salt. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. Okay, so we're going to begin by making our salsa. In a small pot, we're going to add our tomatillos, aroma tomato, and peppers. We're going to cover them with water, set it on high heat, and bring it to a boil. Okay, and once it comes to a boil, we're going to turn it off and transfer it all to our blender cup. Okay, to a blender cup, we're also going to add one fourth of an onion, one hatch pepper, our handful of cilantro, our garlic clove, and we're going to be blending with one fourth of a cup of water. Not just blending too smooth. Okay, and once we have our salsa, now we can make our picadillo. Okay, we're going to grab our pan, set it on medium high heat, to that we're going to add a little bit of oil and allow it to heat up. Okay, and once the oil is nice and hot, we're going to add our other fourth of an onion, just chop it into small pieces. And we're just going to sauce it for a couple minutes. Okay, after a couple minutes, we're going to add our ground beef, along with all of our seasonings. I'm going to break it down and allow it to brown. Okay, and once our meat begins to brown, we're going to add our potatoes. And we're just going to allow them to cook for five minutes. Okay, after five minutes, we're going to add our two hot chiles. Just make sure that you chop them. Going to mix it. Okay, so here we're going to add our salsa. I'm going to be adding more water to my blender cup. Going to mix it. Okay, and now we're just going to bring it to a simmer. Okay, and once it comes to a simmer, taste it for salt. For me, this is perfect. Adjust it if needed. We're going to reduce the heat to medium. Cover it. And just allow it to cook for about five to 10 minutes or until our potatoes are semi-soft. Okay, and after five minutes, our potatoes should be almost done. Of course, just make sure that you check them. So yeah, they're soft. Now we're going to add our calabacitas. Mix it with the mix. So now we're going to cover it again and allow them to cook between five to eight minutes. Okay, and after eight minutes, our calabacitas should be fully cooked as well as for our potatoes. Just make sure that you check them. And just like that, our picadillo con calabacitas is done. So now we can get ready to serve. Alrighty guys, and now for the fun part, serving. So I'm going to be serving with some frijoles de la olla, but of course you can always serve with some rice. And let me tell you that it smells delicious. And I love potatoes and the calabacita, so make sure that you get plenty of it. Okay. And I need my jalapeno there. And I'm just going to add some queso fresco on my beans. And of course, and of course, enjoy it with some flour tortillas. And just like that, we can get ready to enjoy. Alrighty, you guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Now let me tell you guys that I hope you give this recipe a try. It's seriously super easy to make and so comforting. This is one of my favorite meals that my mom used to make back in the day when she was just trying to stretch every dollar, you know, but I hope you enjoy it as much as we do. And of course, you know, everything is just so flavorful. The potatoes, the calabacitas, they're just cooked to perfection. So just make sure that not to overcook them. But other than that, super easy. 
So cheers and enjoy. And it's hot. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Seriously, it's super delicious. It's hot. <laughs> Make sure you know. You would like it to cool down a little bit, but oh, so good. Mmm. The chile verde is just so good. And it's not spicy, of course, you can always make that spicy, but I just love picadillo. Picadillo, it's honestly always perfect. Mmm, that's good. The best. All right, you guys, and there you have it on how to make a delicious picadillo con calabacitas. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Share with your friends and family, and if you regret this recipe, Please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys keep part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.